This, what you can see here, is a presentation of the patient with abdominal pain. And this patient is a young female in her 20s, but she presents not only with abdominal pain, she also suffers from constipation and diarrhea, both sometimes constipation and sometimes diarrhea. This patient also reported that she feels better after defecation and she also didn't exhibit any signs of weight loss. She didn't report bleeding and uh, medical imaging tests and colonoscopy did not reveal anything wrong with her anatomy and intestines. Now, if we look at our possible options that could explain abdominal pain, what we can find here is, of course, diverticulitis. Now, diverticulitis it does cause abdominal pain, but really, usually in elderly uh, population and uh, patients have fever, then we can rule out diverticulitis. Then we have celiac disease, but celiac disease is, yes, found in the younger population as well, but it comes with weight loss and anemia very often. This patient, however, does not have anemia and weight loss. The second option we have here is uh, the inflammatory bowel disease, but inflammatory bowel disease also comes with weight loss and bloody diarrhea, for example, ulcerative colitis, which is an, an inflammatory bowel disease, has ulcers in the colon, and then they can bleed. This results in a bloody diarrhea. What truly defines it in a good way is abdominal pain with persistent diarrhea. Whereas this patient has sometimes diarrhea and sometimes constipation. This over here is a classical description of irritable bowel syndrome. And if you want more explanations like these, or if you have more questions, then go to Symptomsky.com.